Hey, how everybody doing? What's good? What's good? Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, look. You cannot give what you do not have. And you can't even get upset when you ask somebody for something they do not have to give. Hallelujah. Let's pray right now. Father, I praise your holy name today, Lord. Thank you that in the end, Lord, you are in complete control. All things was created by you and for you. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus against this COVID, uh, this, this, this virus, Father God. I pray, Lord God, that those who have been afflicted with it, Lord God, that I pray for a speedy recovery. I pray, Lord, you would keep us safe, Lord, and, and, and not let none of that touch us, Lord. We don't permit it in the mighty name of Jesus, yet give us wisdom as we go through, you know, to and fro uh, in this day, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Give us the grace to love our enemies, Lord. Give us the grace to walk in your love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So you cannot give what you do not have. You can't, you can't do it. Let me stop playing. Anyway, I don't want to keep y'all long, but, you know, God has forgiven me. God has showed me mercy. God has showed me patience. God has been gentle with me. And I'm not talking about before the knowledge of the Lord. I'm not talking about before I came to Jesus. I'm saying after coming to the Lord Jesus. Holy Ghost, Kendall, don't say that. Holy Ghost, don't do that. Holy Ghost, stop. Yet in my own rebellion, I did it. So, nah, you can't give what you do not have. You cannot. But I tell you something I do have. I can forgive you. I can be gentle to you. I can be kind to you. I can love you. Because all of that God has given me. So I can do it back. I can, I can give it right back to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I can give it back to you. You know, I can love my enemies. I could, I could love the unlove, I could, I could say, let me be gentle to this person. Let me be patient with this person. Let me, let me overlook, you know what I'm saying? All of this extra stuff. It ain't that God didn't overlook it. It's just God is love and God forgave me. So how dare I? Jesus. How dare I turn around and judge somebody and God did not judge me? He didn't judge me. You did not judge me, God. You didn't judge me. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You forgave me. You didn't stick me in hell. You forgave me over and over again. You forgave me. You showed me mercy. You got me back in the word. You, he, 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 you know, brought me to weep before him, break broken before him. Caused me to hate what I used to love. And as I begin to love what he loves. So no, you cannot, you cannot give what you do not have. But for those of us who have been born again and have experienced God's love, God's mercy, his patience with us, his kindness, his gentleness, everything that he has given us, we can now give it back. We can now give that back. We, we you know, how dare you? Not give what God has given you freely. How dare you not give that back? Like, you know what I mean? God, God showed you mercy. Show this person mercy. What First John say, how can a man say that he loves God? Who he has not seen. And he hates the person that he does see. God says in his word, you a liar. You're a liar. You don't even love a person that you can see, but you talking about you love God. And you ain't never saw him. 
comment right here. So I, I just, I don't know. I'm not going to keep y'all long. I just want to encourage y'all to say, look, for those of us who have experienced God's love, experienced God's patience, his mercy, and all of what God has done for us on a daily basis, we now have that to give back to a world that needs love, needs patience, needs kindness, gentleness. This world needs all of what God has given us. So now we can get that back to them. We can. Hallelujah. Let's pray for our enemies right fast. Father, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus for every soul that has raised themselves up to be, to be our enemies, Lord. We just bless them. Oh, Father God, we pray, Lord God, that you would touch their lives, bless their families, bless their they're going in and they're going out, Lord. We ask that you would touch them with your love, that the fullness of your salvation would come into their lives, Lord, and they would experience the love we know you have for them. Bless them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus.